I might get two videos posted today. It depends on how busy I get with the book with March Madness and the NBA going on. We'll see what happens. I saw something on Friday that we have just got to get to at some point. Some some female soccer player was whining and complaining that women athletes aren't paid the same as men. It's just more woke garbage. And you guys know how much I just love tearing down the wokers. I have never heard of this woman before. Imagine that none of you guys have either. But we're going to get to it. And I'm going to explain why female athletes aren't paid the same money that dudes are. But for now, let's just get to the Lakers. I know that 25% of my audience between the ages of 18 to 24 probably have never heard of this, but I know my fellow millennials have. You know the song by Tom Petty, Free Falling? That song perfectly encapsulates the Los Angeles Lakers right now. We talked about the Lakers last Sunday after LeBron went out the day before due to injury. I told you guys that LeBron James was masking a lot of the holes on this Lakers roster. And with both he and Anthony Davis out for the foreseeable future, we were about to witness how bad this team really is. But damn, I, I didn't know they were going to be this bad. Since LeBron went out last Saturday, the Lakers have lost to the Suns by 17, New Orleans by 17, the Sixers by 8, and uh, they beat the Cavs Friday night, but who gives a damn? Everybody beats the Cavs. It's getting ugly in Los Angeles, and it's getting ugly fast. They've already lost positioning in the playoff race. Matter of fact, the Lakers are at risk of missing the playoffs altogether. If they can't get LeBron and AD back as soon as possible, I don't see the Lakers making the playoffs. Not even the play-in game. The problem is LeBron and Anthony Davis aren't coming back anytime soon. LeBron's expected to miss four to six weeks at minimum. Could be longer. Frank Vogel was asked about the status of Anthony Davis the other night. He said that AD was still a ways away from coming back. Translation, the Lakers are screwed. Here's the thing. And I think Frank Vogel and Rob Palenka are handling the AD injury correctly. You don't want to rush someone back from a calf strain. I know it doesn't sound like a serious injury, but it can be. A couple of years ago, Kevin Durant had a calf strain during the NBA Finals. He rushed back. Next thing you know, he has a torn Achilles and he misses the following season. Now, from the Warriors' perspective at that point, I understood them wanting to rush Kevin Durant back. For one, they were in the NBA Finals. They were trying to win a championship. But two, they knew that Durant was leaving at the end of the season. They knew he wasn't coming back to Golden State. So why the hell do they care if he risked further injury? He wasn't going to be playing with them the next season anyway. Completely different situation for the Lakers. You've got Anthony Davis locked under contract. You have to be thinking towards the future. They can't afford to rush him back and risk him tearing his Achilles, which would result in him missing next season. And for what? I mean, what would you be rushing him back for? To maintain your position in the Western Conference? It's just not worth it. I'm sure LeBron James would agree. LeBron's nearing the end of his career. He can't afford to lose the second best player on the team for an entire year. As great as LeBron James is, he can't win a title without Anthony Davis. Not with this roster full of scrubs in Los Angeles anyway. The Lakers were standing at a crossroads for this season at the trade deadline. There was speculation last weekend that they were going to be one of the more active teams this past week, looking to bring in help to hold them over until LeBron and AD could be cleared to return. Everyone waited and waited and waited. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. There were reports that the Lakers were interested in trading for Kyle Lowry. That deal fell apart. Toronto wanted Taylor Horton Tucker included in the deal, someone the Lakers have high hopes for and both LeBron and AD think can be a star in this league. Now, I know some may be disappointed that the Lakers didn't make any moves to try and salvage this season, but I thought it was the right decision by Rob Palenka. What do I say on here all the time? 
Don't make decisions based off emotion, or in this case, panic. If the Lakers believe Horton Tucker, who's only 20 years old, can develop into a star player, there's no reason to give him up for an aging Kyle Lowry. Once he was off the table, they really didn't have anything else to offer to the Raptors. Plus, if they had pulled off a trade for Kyle Lowry, it would be a rental for the next few months. That's all it would be. He's going to look for an extension this offseason. And the Lakers are cash-strapped. So it made no sense to give up a young developing player for a 35-year-old Kyle Lowry just to try to hold this team over until LeBron and AD can return. Frank Vogel said it best before the game against the Sixers Thursday night. He said they have a strong belief in the team that they have when they're at full strength. And he's right. When they have their complete roster, the Lakers are a top team in the Western Conference. I don't think they're as good as they were last year, but they're, they're passable. Anytime you have LeBron James, you're a contender. We're seeing the real problems on this roster, though, right now. Just like I said last Sunday, this team, this roster is full of holes, which is why I laughed when I heard Frank Vogel say this Thursday night. Quote, There's a strong belief that we can win enough games to keep the ship afloat, so to speak, while Anthony and LeBron are out. We've got a lot of confidence in that, a lot of belief in who we're going to have in uniform tonight, end quote. That is Coach Speak 101. You know Frank Vogel doesn't really believe that garbage. They're doing a great job of keeping the ship afloat, right? They've won a damn game since LeBron went out with a high ankle sprain. I'm sorry, they won against the Cavs Friday night, but like I said, everybody in the NBA beats the Cavs. I've seen reports that the Lakers are going after Andre Drummond. Maybe even LaMarcus Aldridge, which is fine. That's fine, but neither of those guys are going to be enough to stop the bleeding. This team is in real trouble right now missing the playoffs. The Lakers deciding not to make a move at the trade deadline signaled something to me. They're not going to risk their future to save this season. They're going to ride it out with the weak roster they have, and if it's not enough, it's just not enough. Which is fine. It's fine. I actually agree with it. It's the right decision. These injuries that LeBron and Anthony Davis have, this is not something where they're just resting, waiting for the playoffs. Both of these injuries take time to recover from. Something that the Lakers are running out of. Like I told you guys last week, they're in the midst of a brutal stretch of games right now. Over the next few weeks, Bucks, Kings, Clippers, Raptors, Heat, Nets, Knicks, Hornets, Celtics, Jazz, Jazz again, Mavericks. Loss, 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 loss. They're going to lose every one of those games. By the time that LeBron James returns, if he returns at all this season, the Lakers are likely to be out of the playoff picture altogether. Think about it. Four to six weeks. That puts LeBron back at the end of April if everything goes right, or could be the middle of May. If they're hovering around the 500 mark at that point, the chances of them making the playoffs slim to none. Let's say that LeBron is clear to return. Is it worth risking further injury to him for a chance to make the playoffs? No, no. Just write it out to next season. LeBron's injury was an accident. His was an accident. But the injury to Anthony Davis is wear and tear. It's fatigue. The Lakers had less than two months of an offseason before they returned for training camp. The injuries were bound to happen at some point. It's just not worth risking major injury to LeBron or Anthony Davis when the Lakers, with this current roster, aren't winning the title this year anyway. Now, what do you guys think? Do the Lakers have a chance at making the playoffs if LeBron and AD remain on the sidelines? Is it worth rushing them back for the Lakers to maintain their position in the Western Conference? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.